You're watching Marsha, Marsha, Marsha on VeroBuzzTV.com. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Buzz TV. And, oh, you are so lucky to be watching Buzz TV. And I'm going to take just a moment before I introduce our first guest and let you know that we are delighted to have you as a sponsor. If you'd like to become a sponsor at Buzz TV, simply give Susan a call at Buzz TV, and that's Buzz Network TV. Look us up. You'll find people all over the world that watches you, sees you, and, and even buys your product. So this is what's kind of fun. Did you know that, Karen Batlin? I did not. I am very happy to get Garden Fest out to the world. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> because that puts Vero Beach out to the world as well. It certainly does. Don't you think Karen Batlin, who is co-chair of this up-and-coming Garden Fest put on by our Garden Club of Indian River County, don't you think that Vero Beach is is known in many cases for their magnificent flora and fauna? I think they're known for their plants. I think they're known for their arts and culture. Um, it's just not our sleepy little town that I grew up in. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's so wonderful about Karen Batlin, too, because certainly as a member of the Garden Fest, you've been here, you've seen Vero change and grow, and I gotta tell you, I've never seen so much traffic in my life as right now. I don't know what it's going on, but but it'll calm down, and I guess that's what keeps us going. That's what so keeps us going. So when we think about Garden Gardens, though, and the Garden Fest. How would you explain to our viewers all over the world what Garden Fest really does for them? Okay, Garden Fest is not a home show. It is a garden festival. We have plant vendors. Every, we try to be very green. So we have plant vendors. We have garden furniture. We have someone uh -huh. who makes his own clay pots. We have pottery. We have bromeliads and orchids, oh, which are, you know, even the... Uh, person who can't grow anything can grow a bromeliad or orchid because they <laughs> thrive on neglect. Oh. And then we have we have an African violet vendor which doesn't thrive on neglect, but you know, you, you know. So it's um it's really the top show in Florida. And if you're not from Florida, we do have vendors from out of state that come down uh -huh. and bring their their furniture and outdoor furniture. It's it's fabulous. You know what I love about it? Because you learn so much. And for all of the newcomers that come into our world here in Indian River County and Vero Beach, they learn so much about what will grow. What does the salt do? Is this a salt tolerant plant? I yes. Think there's so much education. That our uh, growing season is a tad differently from everybody Absolutely. up north. And so we have experts that have answers to all of your questions. We have over 90 vendors who will oh. definitely be happy to sit there and will stand there probably and answer <laughs> your questions. We have master gardeners that are there uh -huh. and they are definitely there to answer your questions. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you can even bring a leaf or something and show someone. Well, it'd be nice what? if you brought more of a branch oh, to the okay. master gardeners. You know, no, if you just brought you. a little leaf, they okay. might not be able to tell you what it is. <laughs> or but, what is this little or worm picture. Is. Oh, sure. Bring your bring your smartphone. Bring yeah. a picture, and the master gardeners usually can answer it. Well, this is what's going to be so wonderful. We're going to take a little break in just a moment. But Karen Batlin, who is co-chair of the up and coming. Garden Fest, date and time once again? February 6th and 7th, Super Bowl weekend. Oh boy, so you don't want to miss that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Garden Fest, and incidentally, we're going to give you that website you can check out and find all the information in just a moment. So we will be right back. Don't go away. Buzz TV Network is now the fastest growing new media outlet in Florida. Watch buzztvnetwork.com. The fun is happening at Vero Social Club on North US 1, where friends meet for bingo every Tuesday and Thursday. Doors open at 10 with lunch and serve, and the games begin at noon. Then Vero Social Club opens up the dance floor. Thursday nights for social dancing. And weekends, Vero Social Club heats up. Check the website for Latin night special events. And each Sunday, dance to hip hop all night long. Go to VeroSocialClub.com. Vero's number one party destination. Vero Social Club, 7500 North US 1. Join us for an adventure weekdays at 4.30 and 8.30 on Buzz TV Network. Well, we are back as promised, and oh, there is so much going on when you think about Garden Fest. Now, you do need individuals to get the word out for you, don't you? So when we talk about sponsors, what about it? 
Well, we have some wonderful sponsors that we, you know, they get their banners up at the Garden Fest and they help bring people in, but I think mostly the plants bring people in. It's free. <laughs> uh, oh, it's free. We'll Parking is free. Riverside it's at Riverside Park. Park in Vero Beach, right across the Merrill Barber Bridge. It's free. Parking is free if you can find parking on Saturday morning. So you're better to come Saturday afternoon or Sunday morning. I've got to interrupt you. I've got to ask you a question. Is February a good time to plant a new plant in your garden? Well, the kind of weather we've had recently, uh, which has been a Crazy. all year summer, uh, except yeah. for this week, yeah, you can plant things in your garden in February. So you can go with your tra little trailers? You go with your wagon. Bring your wagon if you want to buy a lot of things. We do have a Boys and Girls Club there, oh, and they do, we'll take your, your uh, purchases out to your car. We have golf carts that will bring you in from parking to the, to the park. Oh, that's so great. What about the raffle? Okay, the raffle is one of our ways of raising money that we do lots of things that we, we landscape a lot of in your river county. Oh yes you do. We, you know, so the raffle prizes, you get to pick what you want. There are only seven, but they're huge prizes. One, is a, one has one of the little prizes is a fire pit that the guy will come oh. and build at your house. Oh, and if you don't have a fire pit in your backyard, you need one. Those are more fun. And, and that was donated by, yeah. uh, we have so many wonderful raffle things. We have one that's called, and this is for the men, Hail the Sports Enthusiast, Rounds of Golf, Ooh. at five or six of the private golf courses in Indian River County. They have fabulous raffle Oh, gifts. fabulous raffle prizes. And all prizes. they do is buy a little ticket. They, they buy they one ticket mm -hmm. for $5 or three for 10. You know, oh, if you're in, you sure. just, you get to stuff them in the prize you want to win. Do you know, so you buy, you buy about 50 and put yeah. them the one. Yeah, put them all in the absolutely. same one, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> but I think what we're doing now, though, Karen Vatlin, of course, you have been with the Garden Club, and of course, as you were born here, weren't you? I was born and raised here. Oh, boy, Vatlin, mm -hmm. does that make sense to you? Vatlin? <laughs> okay. Oh, yes, yes. And if, are you all still doing massages? <laughs> yes, on first Tuesday at Vatlin Honda. Can you A little commercial that? here. You can get your nails done, ladies, and you yeah. can have a massage. Every Tuesday. <laughs> Just the first Tuesday. Oh, just the first Tuesday. Just of the each first month. Tuesday of each month. And then you're—that's when you're getting an oil change. You're getting that's your car right. inspected yeah. or something. And uh, I mean, it's fabulous. Get so your nails done. I get your nails done too. That's for the ladies. <gasps> Absolutely. Well, oh, but I think this is what's so great, though, to have really individuals who've been here for so long and talk about something that is so f wonderful. This for is all our of fifth. Us. 15th year. Wow. 15th year of the Garden Fest. Now we have one minute left. Okay. So what one do you want to left. tell all those viewers oh, all over the world oh, about Garden Fest? Oh my Fest? goodness. Um, if you like plants, if you just like a walk in the park, the park, Riverside Park is absolutely transformed. And, but it is just bring your guests that are here from the north oh, with absolutely. all the white snow because everything is green, 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 green. And more than that, bring your wagon because there are going to be how many vend vendors? Over said? 90 vendors. 90 vendors. And with all of your questions as well, find out all about those wonderful things in your yard and in your garden and why they're growing and what are they growing, all of that. So mark your date in the calendar. February 5th and our 6th, 6th and, and 7th. 7th Super Bowl Super Bowl weekend be at Riverside Park Karen thanks so much for thank you so us. much Marsha and we hope you're enjoying Buzz TV plant your business in the Buzz TV ID garden and watch your buzziness grow make a 15 second business video ID plant your video ID in Buzz TV program then spread your video ID on social media and watch your buzziness grow on Buzz TV Hi, I'm Carolyn. And I'm Jim. Together we are the Live Now Real Estate Team at Remax Associated Realty. We know the Sebastian area real estate market very well, and we also know that buying or selling a home can be very serious business. But together we can reduce the stress and even have fun in the process. Along with our hundreds of satisfied clients, we really want you to live now and be happy too. Contact us at thelivenowteam.com. See you soon. Well, welcome back to Buzz TV. I'm Marsha Littlejohn, and I am here with Chief Rich Roselle. That's I me. love that. That is you, <laughs> indeed. And of course, he is with Indian River Shores. And I think when law enforcement walks in here, I always get so thrilled because I just, it's kind of like when I see our veterans. I just want to say thank you for every single thing you do. And, and it, if it weren't for you guys, we would, we would be out there 
I don't know what, maybe we wouldn't even be out there, would we? Well, thank you very much. It's very nice of you, but we couldn't do our jobs without the support of people like you. Well, you know, this is what I think also is important, too, because when we get people who truly realize the importance of law enforcement and when all of a sudden you're reading about different things and we're going to hit one subject in this particular incident. We're going to talk about these skimmers that we see when you're using your credit card in bank ATMs or even in gas stations. So many other things I'd love to talk to you about so you're going to have to come, come back. back. But what is going on and who is it that is doing this and how in the world do you catch them? Okay, a few questions. Um, we don't know exactly who's doing it yet, but we, we have some leads. I can't speak about them mm -hmm. right here, but we have some leads. Uh, uh, we catch them basically because they do their business right on camera. Every ATM has a camera. Every bank has multiple cameras. All right, before you even go further, what is this business that they're doing? What actually is happening? There is an uh, electronic device that uh, these criminals can implant it's just to take a you know, mental picture of mm -hmm. an ATM in your mind. Um, you have the part where you put the card in and you have the keypad where you punch your numbers mm -hmm. into. There's an electronic device that can actually be inserted into where your, um, your card gets slid. Oh. And then there is, there's a couple of variations. There's a phony keypad that they can put over the top of the keypad or as in the case of Indian River Shores, they had a little tiny camera mounted on a piece of fascia above there that you couldn't even tell wasn't part of the machine. And that took a photo every time somebody walked within the zone of, of, yeah. uh, of the camera, took a photo of the, um, uh, of the uh, person punching, person the, punching yeah. had a little SD card, memory card in there, so when they went back, they just pulled the SD card, popped it into their phone, they got all the data. But let me ask you something. How long does it take to put all of this stuff up? Why don't we catch them when they're doing this? It, it only takes minutes, and I can't answer the question as to why they're not So you they're just they're probably not, think there's somebody caught. getting money out of the out of the. Yeah, the, I guess the, the banks um, only, uh, my only guess is the banks check those cameras when there's an issue. Yeah, oh, I see. Um, and when we checked it after we saw the issue, that's where we were able to come up with some uh, pretty positive images of, um, of the But then these are not the, the cameras that the end of the criminal is putting in there. This is the, uh, this is the bank protection the security yes. that you can catch this. But as you say, if it's not, if nobody notices it, mm -hmm. um, you know, nobody even calls the bank and lets them know until they all of a sudden get their statement. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> so now, all right, here's what we want to know. What can we do about it? What, that is what they're doing. They're putting all of this ridiculous stuff on the machine itself and it's also not just at banks it's at gas stations as that's well. correct yes and what can we do we're going to take a break in just a moment but sure. when we come back i really want to delve into what we as as law-abiding citizens can do to not only help you find these individuals but also of course what we can do when we want to be safe with our credit card so we'll talk about that in just a moment i'm talking okay. to chief rich rosell he is with the indian river shores police department and we're talking about credit and debit card skimmers and it is happening so don't think you're going to get away with it if you're out there watching and you're one of those criminals we'll be right back stop dirty unread newsprint clogging our landfills with waste Go green. Save a tree. Watch Buzz TV. Victims of mesothelioma and their loved ones may be entitled to receive a cash reward from over 18 billion in asbestos trust funds now available. If you or a loved one was diagnosed with mesothelioma, call the number on your screen now. Even if a loved one has passed due to mesothelioma, you may still be entitled to a cash reward. Mesothelioma is a rare cancer caused by exposure to asbestos. Many victims were in the Navy, shipyards, or power plants, or worked in the construction, plumbing insulation, or automotive trades. Many more were exposed in or around their homes. For nearly 30 years, we have successfully helped thousands of victims and families get the financial compensation they deserve. Time is limited. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with mesothelioma, Call now. Please call 800 970 0240. And 
And we are back indeed with Chief Rich Rozell of Indian River Shores. And recently we heard that up there in Indian River Shores, we did have at one of the Bank America uh, banks, you had a skimmer. So talk to me about what happened, what occurred, and then how in the world did you find the second skimmer? The first skimmer was reported to us by, uh, by a victim. Uh, several days, almost a week after uh, it had happened. We had no idea that it had occurred. Bank hadn't told us. So uh, I sent a detective out there to look at the, um, at the machine. And by the time he got out there, the skimmer had been removed. And, and we know that because he saw some evidence of, um, of tampering uh -huh. with, the, with the machine. Uh, yeah. Why didn't the bank call you immediately? We don't have any idea. Oh, okay. Um, no idea whatsoever. They, they did call him, though, and tell him that somebody tried to use his card. But uh, we processed that scene as best we could, um, got some copies of the uh, video. And then maybe the day after, two days later, we got a call from the bank saying there's something wrong. And when we went down there, it was another style of skimmer, the kind that actually slides into the credit card uh, oh my holder. Oh so they're and that, different and that, types. Yes, and that actually, it obviously wasn't put in secure enough and it fell out. So when I went there, the skimmer was just sitting right there. So they brought an ATM technician around, looked at it, and they were looking at a little piece that didn't seem right. The ATM tech couldn't identify it as whether it was supposed to be there or not, so they pulled on it and it came right off. And it was a, um, a piece of um, plastic fascia that was up over the top of the uh, the keyboard uh -huh. with a little pinhole camera oh pointing gosh. straight down there was held in with two-sided tape. It was very difficult to, to, to see that it wasn't part of the machine. Now I think what is very important is that you do, we cannot discuss it here, but you have some leads as to the individuals and the criminals that are doing this. My question to you though, Chief, is when we find these, these perpetrators, these individuals that are doing such horrendous stuff, what do we do with them? The, um, the case will be, well, they'll be arrested, number mm -hmm. one, charged. The case will be referred to the uh, state attorney's office. We have a great state attorney's office here in, uh, in this region, and they'll prosecute that person, and uh, they'll get an appropriate punishment. Is it happening frequently, though? Are it, we finding these skimmers around, or is it just at banks? They're all over the place. Uh, yeah. It's, I would call it an epidemic, but they're, they're all over the place, so much so that- Has the, anybody uh, ever been caught? Yes, they, right. when the Indian River Shores is the first time we've had anything at Bank of America, but on the mainland, yeah, people have been caught. What's the profile? I don't care about the color of their skin. I'm talking about are they young, are they older, are they out of school, or what? To my knowledge, there is no um, uh, characteristics, common characteristics yeah. that, they, uh, that they all have. Can be you know anybody. what I'd love to do? If you ever find one, will you promise me, let me interview them? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'd love to find out where in the world they thought they could get away with this. That would be an interesting interview. Yeah, it? It? Mm -hmm. yeah, I'd probably end up in jail. But a wonderful thing is, though, because you, know, you say the ATM tech couldn't really identify too much of it. Now, we've only got one minute That's left. Okay. So maybe we better just skip on and really talk about what we can do and the safety factor. Okay, real quick. If you see any type of glue or scrapes around your ATM device, report it right to the bank manager. It's a good idea that every week, once a week, go on your um, go on the internet, on your uh, your site, and check to see if you see any unusual withdrawals. Your statement. Your statement. Your, your statement. Your, your statement. Okay. Um, you know, these days, you can pick it up, pull it up in the internet sure. in seconds. That's a really good practice. Get that out of. Get into the habit of doing it once a week. Oh boy. Well, this is what we have to look out for. So remember, when you put that card in any place, make sure that you look around and make sure, and then check, as uh, the chief has just said, and also push that clear, cancel, everything, right? I always do that when I'm Even, uh, even when before I'm you start, I always think there's some little person inside there. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> Thank on you for having me. It's my us. pleasure. And thanks for watching Buzz TV. Have you or a loved one been prescribed the blood thinner medication Xarelto? Xarelto has been linked to serious injuries, including internal bleeding of the brain or gastrointestinal system, cerebral hemorrhage, and even death. At the law offices of Jacoby and Myers, we've been bringing compassion and experience to our clients for over 40 years. Jacoby and Myers is now taking claims from those injured as a result of taking Xarelto. Our firm has decades of experience fighting the big pharmaceutical companies and is ready to fight for you. Call Jacoby and Myers for a free confidential consultation. Time to file a claim may be limited, so call today. If you or a loved one experienced severe internal bleeding, or if a loved one died after taking Xarelto, call the law offices of Jacoby and Myers today. Don't fight this alone. Get the help you deserve.
Call the law offices of Jacoby and Myers now for a free confidential consultation. You won't pay a thing unless your case is settled. Please call 800-536-6093. And we are back as promised with Buzz TV. And I am so glad that you're here and you're going to be as well because we have Kent and Ann. And I keep saying Anan and it's Annan. Annan, right. Kent yep. Annan. I call him Kent because, <laughs> of course, he is with Haiti Partners and you have been with them for so long and doing yes. such a great job. Great to see you again. Yeah, it's always great to see you, Marcia. Now, Kent, tell me because something very exciting is coming up. But mm. before we even go about the event, talk to me about the philosophy, the mission of mm. Haiti's Partners. Yeah, thanks. So we've been uh, a colleague, John, who, who lives in Bureau Beach, but he's mostly been in Haiti for the last 23 years. Um, and I started started Haiti Partners six years ago, but he's been involved in Haiti for 23 years. I've been wow. involved with Haiti for 13 years. And our philosophy is how can we use education to help Haitians change Haiti? Oh. So we're not going to change Haiti from a distance from Florida, but we can provide opportunities for Haitians to get education and, and opportunities, which helps them change their own country. So that's what's behind everything we do. Boy, you know, just sitting here listening to you talk about education, and I remember my precious, wonderful cousin, David Sale, who he said to me one time, the most important thing mm. with individuals is education. Mm, absolutely. Because if you understand, and I mean, and this is what this Haiti Partners is all about. Yeah. But now, if I'm not mistaken, you go down to Haiti, how, how frequently? Usually it's about six times a year. Six right? times a year. Mm -hmm. What are you finding down there? It's been encouraging the last, because like I said, I've been going down for more than a dozen years. This last few years have been encouraging because you see some infrastructure being built and you see some buildings and construction and stability and security. So it's been an encouraging few years. I, I find that from Haitian colleagues down there. Now they're in a political season right now of elections where it's yeah. a little bit more tense, but hopefully they can get through that in the next so uh, month. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Wow. <laughs> and so I think if they get through that, hopefully can continue this momentum oh, and progress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody wants to know more about Haiti Partners. And of course, you've got you. It takes a lot of dollars and dimes to mm -hmm. get down there. Yeah. So you have an event coming up, too. But I'd love for you to talk really about some of the things that are going on locally that and the people that are are really seeing mm -hmm. the changes that you're bringing about yeah. because if i'm not mistaken didn't you bring some of them back here didn't mm -hmm. we have a couple of visitors yeah we do we, usually a couple times a year we have someone coming up so uh, we'll talk about the event but we yeah. try to bring up haitian colleagues up here and they love coming up and it's just a way for them to connect and tell stories and encourage people who are involved and then they can say hey this is what's happening in our school or hey this is what our church is able to do now because of your support so we really like the connection going back sure. and forth not just a one way street. If someone were to ask you though, Kent Annan, what is the connection, the correlation, the the hope and the prayer mm -hmm. for America and Haiti? Yeah, no, it's a great question, Marsha. I think the the hope is if we have you know, brothers and sisters in Haiti who are in hard circumstances, and we're, I think we're compelled, uh, whether it's from a faith perspective or just as common humanity, oh, don't we want to help? If we mm -hmm. have more, do we want to help those who have less? And then for us, the other part of it would be, well, isn't, aren't there parts of the culture and wisdom and experience and parts of their faith that they can share with us? Sure. So that's that exchange of going back and forth of, is can we all move forward together? Really? Do you know what you just did? You mm. did what so many people do not do you got to listen to the other side mm, as well absolutely, exactly. and hear what it is they can give us and yep. what we can give them and, and understand. So we're going to take a little break in a moment and we are going to be talking about this wonderful mm -hmm. event, but very quickly, what's the date and time? Uh, so the big one is March 4th and it is Educate and Celebrate at Northern Trust and it's right. going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> it is fun. I've been there before. We're going to be right back though and tell you all about it and how you can participate as well. Haiti Partners coming right up. Stay with us. During the course of the past 100 years, advancements in technology have dramatically changed forever the manner in which people worldwide interact and now connect and communicate with one another. Welcome, Buzz TV. The fun is happening at Vero Social Club on North US 1, where friends meet for bingo every Tuesday and Thursday. Doors open at 10 with lunch and serve, and the games begin at noon. Then Vero Social Club opens up the dance floor. Thursday nights for social dancing. And weekends, Vero Social Club heats up. Check the website for Latin night special events. And each Sunday, dance to hip hop all night long. Go to VeroSocialClub.com. Vero's number one party destination. Vero Social Club, 7500 North US 1.
And as promised, we are right back with Kent Annan, and of course he is talking about Haiti Partners, and I know you've all heard about it, and you just briefly gave us some background. There's so much more to it, and these two events that we're talking about today will give us all that opportunity, I think, to yeah, not absolutely. only learn more about Haiti Partners, but yeah. also participate. Mm -hmm. So coming up, now you say March is a biggie, mm -hmm. but February, what was it, February the 2nd, February 2nd. is something really exciting, too. Yeah. But before, well, let's do that, and then we'll come back to the okay. March. Okay, whatever order. <laughs> So uh, February 2nd, we do what's called a Stories of Gratitude. We really like that name. So it's yeah. people locally who have given or want to give more. We have a Haitian colleague coming up, and we spend an hour, hour and a quarter at Costa Deste is hosting oh. us, which is really <laughs> kind of them. Cool. Yeah, they're being really <laughs> generous to us. And so we're hosting it there, and we spend an hour and a quarter just telling you stories of gratitude. Gratitude for Haitian colleagues and communities who we find inspiring, stories that are, can be inspired for people here who are giving. So it's really a chance to, to share stories and everyone to be encouraged about progress that's happening. It doesn't make the headlines in the newspaper, yeah. but that are the reason we do this kind of thing, the reason people here in Bureau Beach are so generous in their giving. You know, I think it's genuine too. When you, mm. when just yeah. listening to you talk about it and having this particular opportunity for individuals to hear and share their stories yeah. as well, and donations are always, always looked yeah. for. And I think when you learn more about it, and that is going to be, of course, on February the second. Is that an invitation only uh, event? No, if the people get in touch with HaitiPartners.org or give us a call at seven seven two five three nine eight five two one. How's that listed? That is, what do you mean? Is it in your name or is it? Oh, it's uh, Haiti Partners. Yes, yeah, so it's Haiti Partners. Partners okay. I always yep. say it's so much easier to remember a name. Haiti's <laughs> exactly. part, look up Haiti Haiti Partners. Partners uh -huh. and, um, and then, and that's just $25. So you get to have a oh. great lunch at Costa Deste, uh, classy cupcakes you're giving. Our, one of our office managers has a, a gift bag of people in the community oh, who support fun. us. So it's just going to be a really great and encouraging time. And you have this wonderful individual coming up from Haiti. Exactly. Talking, so you really learn. And I think we all, it, it's that time of year when everybody is, is asking for donations and so on. But when you go to something like this, you right. know exactly where your money and your oh, dimes yeah. and dollars are going. Exactly. You'll know exactly that. You'll hear the stories, but you'll also hear the numbers because we want to be sure. really transparent Oof. in how. Um, and you also, help. I know, take uh, some groups down there to Haiti, yeah, and that's absolutely. kind of fun. Boy, oh yeah. boy. Yeah. What we want to do also, before we have to wrap this up, though, is let all of our viewers understand a little bit more about that wonderful event coming up yes. in February. Yes. Yeah, so oh, no, it's in, it's in March, March. March 4th. Yes. And that one is called Educate and Celebrate. It's our fourth year doing it, I think, at Northern Trust uh, over on the island. And it's just a fantastic event. And there's wine, great wine, great food. There's arts. So we have paintings yeah, and jewelry. And just probably like 100 pieces, maybe 60 to 100 pieces. And Suzanne Bollinger, who lives in town, is down in Haiti. She's leaving tomorrow to go oh. down to do the shopping for oh. all of you so that you can benefit from these beautiful uh, pieces of art it's, and it's uh, from Haiti. So. It's amazing. Because now last year, I know yeah. that we were there. And it was so much fun. And what I love is you see people that you know know are so dedicated yeah. and so in, enthused with helping. Yeah. So how exactly. do we get tickets to that event? Yeah, so that would be the same, HaitiPartners.org or 772-539-8521. And those tickets are $125. Because of generous sponsors in the community, that's completely tax deductible. So all that $125 oh. goes to the work. And you get a great evening of wine oh. and art and great people. And we'll just tell, tell some brief stories of it. But it's really just a time to get together. and What and, a great way yeah. to donate. Yeah. Instead of just simply writing a check and putting it in the mail, exactly. and it, you get to have a little glass of wine mm. and have all that wonderful yeah. time. Put that date on your calendar, March the 4th, and of course that's at Northern Trust. And that's Great in the event. evening, and that's an evening event. In the evening, what yeah, time is 530. that? 5.30. 5.30, mm -hmm. can't, can't miss it, it's gonna be wonderful. Yeah. So don't hesitate, do you have a website? We do, HaitiPartners.org. All right, find all about it, and of course, Kent Annan, thanks so very yeah, much for being thank you with you. us. Thank oh, you. Wonderful having you here, and we hope you have enjoyed Buzz TV. Join Marshall Littlejohn nightly at 5 and 9 on ViroBuzzTV.com.